but an optimistic cynic guy. Shit, ho got a hell of a grip. It's never a problem to niggas is bothering and bitches, they all wanna stick. I look through these what is going on guys it is xwtl coming at you guys with the video for today today guys we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to change your cold boot slash boot logo for the playstation you have to be on a custom firmware for this and if you have any questions you can ask me down below about this but what we want to do to start off with this is we want to get a new boot logo so what we're going to do is we're going to go on the website psn hacks i'll have the link in the description as well um they have just a variety of different types of boot logos um you can choose like an Xbox one as to like right here and you can choose an Xbox one that will have the sound in the situation um, yeah we'll do the Xbox one so what you want to do is you want to click the download right there it's going to send you the media fire so just press download and we're just going to wait for that oops they're just going to block this I think yeah, that's just because of Chrome wanting to block it but what we're going to do to fix that is we're going to go to downloads real quick and I'm going to recover it and let it do whatever it wants to do. Um, you can just put that on your desktop real quick. Um, I would extract it if I were you, but I didn't, so it's, it's all good. Um, but after you have that file, you want to go on your PlayStation. You don't have to use a USB or anything, but you can use FileZilla, and I will be using FileZilla. So what you want to do is you want to just go to Rebug Toolbox, and you want to make sure when you're in FileZilla you can have the HDD0 Rebug or whatever. So let's open up FileZilla in this case and just wait for it. And when you're in there, you want to connect to your console when you're in Rebug. When you're in here, you want to go to Dev Rebug and then you want to go to VSH, uh, Resource, and inside here you'll see the cold boot thing right here. Basically, inside the file, inside the file you got, here's the three files you need. And we're just gonna just drop those in there like this and just overwrite like that. Now for when we're on the PlayStation, we'll have a custom boot logo and I'll see you guys when the game restarts. Okay, so there was the boot logo pretty much. Um, you know, I, I really like this a lot and Hopefully you guys learned something off of this, and the next video that I'm going to be posting is a tutorial on how to change your icon for your profile pictures on your uh, users. You will also need a CFW for that to create your own. So thank you guys for watching, and if this helped you out, and if you enjoyed it, drop a like, and if you haven't already, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.